Ah, uh, well, well, well. If it isn't the big criminal man. Uh, yeah, why am I here again? I don't even know why I was brought to prison. In fact, I'm calling an unfair trial. If it isn't my guy, Faki, in my prison. Yes, oh, it is very nice to have a specimen like you in my prison. What are you talking about? Also, well, yeah, why am I in prison anyway? Uh, you, uh, you did many crimes, good sir. Name one. Uh, larceny. Okay, fair enough. Now listen, okay? This is my island, so it's my rules, okay? Okay. Now, do you understand what, what uh, your sentence is? No. It is death! Wait, I'm sentenced to death? That is right. Your sentence is to death in 100 days. Oh, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you no, know, we're going to put your able body to work, you know, really feed some money into our system, and then... So basically, you're saying I have 100 days to escape. Huh? What? 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 Nothing, nothing. I said Why nothing. Why were you talking to yourself and looking into the, the distance? I don't Who know. are you talking Oh my god! Whoa! I did not expect you to pull out are a weapon. Are you a spy? No, I'm not a spy. Of course you're not. Also, is that accent even real? No, unicorn, it's not real. I know it's you. All right, it's me. But you are being sentenced to death for in 100 days, okay? Uh, Let's fine. I, I gotta be, I gotta abide by the, the laws of the prison, you know? Okay. And, you know, if I don't, then I wouldn't be warden anymore, you know? And they give me this spiffy warden outfit and everything. I got this warden gun and everything, you know? It's pretty that's, cool. That's, that's great. Welcome to the most secure prison in existence. I have 100 days to escape this place before I am scheduled to be executed. Now, unfortunately for me, this place is crawling with hundreds of NPC guards, cameras, and more, making it near impossible to get out. But that's what I gotta do. Either I escape within 100 days, or I am going to be executed here on this island. So, can I escape this max security prison within 100 days? Let's find out. So everything started on day one, when I was thrown in a prison by the same person who set up the entire prison itself, Warden Unicorn. Now, Warden Unicorn led me to my prison cell. There we go. Uh, let me get you checked in real quick. Uh, okay. Name? Rye Guy Rocky. Gender? Male. Height? Six foot. Blood type? I don't know. Okay, okay. Yep, seems to match the description. Seems to match the description. Okay, uh, we got you in the system there. Your new number is Prisoner 147. Why 140? Can, can I pick my number? Nope, you're Prisoner 147. You know why I picked 147? Why? Right? Why? Because you're going to be the 147th person in death row that will not make it out alive. Yeah, okay, whatever. Where's my this cell? Is, all right, come on. Your cell block should be over here. I reserved it with a nice pretty color. Get in there. Oh my god! Get in there! <laughs> now listen, it's lights out, so I really want you to reflect on what you've done, okay? Yeah, uh-huh. And forced me to sleep, leading into day two. On day two, I decided I had to already start planning my escape. With only 98 days to live, I really had to work quick. So to do this, I was gonna have to understand the ins and the outs of how this prison operated. And lucky for me, Warden Unicorn gave me a nice tour of the place and how everything worked. Oh, look hey, who it is. It isn't my favorite prisoner. How's the first day, buddy? I mean, I sat in a box the whole day, so I can't say it was uh, the most like fun me. thing in the world. It's a rectangle. Uh, a rectangle is a box. What'd you say? <laughs> okay, fine. It's a rectangle. All right. So I figure I'd get you acquainted with your new surroundings, okay? Meaning I had a special advantage in trying to escape. Uh, these are the mines over here, okay. Unicorn eventually led me to the mining area where I was able to figure out my first escape plan. Escape plan number one is pretty simple. The shady guard is willing to sell me TNT for the small price of some bread and a special drink. So all I have to do is get five additional bread, trade that with Sticky Finger Stanley for his special drink, and then I can get the TNT for some bread and that drink. I'll then set the TNT off by the mining fence. Back off, back off, back off, back off. And we're gone. We gotta go quick. We gotta go quick. We cannot get caught here. And run for a boat where I can then finally escape the prison. Wait for the guard to walk away. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Jump. Oh, we didn't make it. Oh, God. Just get over here. Oh, Getting man. a little wet, my friend. Are you kidding me? How are you doing down there? I can't get in the boat. Go ahead. Go. Try the jump again. Maybe I'll let you out. If you... <laughs> Okay, 
Ryan. It seems that you, the, your uh, goose has been, uh, as they say, a cooked. Yeah, you caught me. It was my first attempt. And I got to use uh, my, my taser. I still got plenty of days to keep trying to escape this place. Yeah. You... Be Ow! quiet! Be quiet! I am talking to you! Every time you try to escape and I catch you, which is going to be every time, you're spending 10 days in solitary. After serving my 10 days in solitary, I was finally allowed back into the prison. From here, they let me into a new warehouse. All right, well, today you start your new work shift. In the mine? No, not in the mine. No, oh. absolutely not. No way. Okay. This is where you'll be working on the ground floor. Called the mechanical warehouse, where I could earn more bread. Lucky for me, it was in this warehouse that I was finally able to find a second chance to escape. I need to figure out to see if this mechanical place offers any way to escape. Escape plan number two is much more complex, but lucky for me, I think it might just work. So over a few days, I collected a boatload of iron from the iron machine, and I planned on spending it on a small engine in 60 metal plates. That was gonna be enough supplies for me to obtain a boat from someone who was selling it in the lower part of the mechanical office. So after getting all the supplies I need, I made my way to the boat lady and was finally able to get a boat. Okay, so if I just put in this code, which is 711354, I can open the door. I bring the boat over to the water. Wait, I can't put it down in underwater. I have to put it on land? What if I put it up here? Oh, it worked up here. Once I got the boat, it turned out that the uh, boat was a complete dud. Yeah, I, I kind of got scammed. It didn't even work. And Warden Unicorn Man caught me immediately anyway, so... Mm, so close, Ryan. So close. But so far. The plan was a failure either way, and it didn't work, meaning I had to serve 10 more days in solitary. Now, at this point, I only had about 70 or so days left to live, so not that much. Hello, all prisoners. Today's double ration Wednesday, you know. It's that time of the week again. Stay away from your doors. Thanks. Meaning I really had to start coming up with some better plans. Lucky for me, when exploring the prison earlier, I noticed there were sewers below the showers. So if I could get the skeleton key from Stanley, I might be able to escape through the sewer. We really do need to get 30 bread. We're gonna have to break into the kitchen. So in fact, let's buy two warden's batons to guarantee we have enough to take these fellas on, okay? Okay, no one's looking. So let me see if I can just get him here. Oh, he hit me. Oh, they're both hitting me. Ooh, this might end bad. This might end real bad. Come on. Oh my God, they have so much health. Oh my God, he, okay, we got one, we got one. The other one's just walking away. I'll take it. Bread? Oh my God, yes. Bread. Okay, we're not gonna take too much more. Okay, go, 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 go. Escape, 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 escape. Okay, get rid of the sword, get rid of the sword. Oh my god, we got it. We got some bread, we got some bread, we got some bread, we got a ton of bread. Oh my god, we have rations for days. Let's go get ourselves an iron sword so we have we are we're better equipped for fighting. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh Oh uh, hey! Oh hey, well, how's it going? Mumble into yourself again? Yep, you know how it is. You sure mumble to yourself a lot. I do, I do. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I gotta go check on the uh, kitchen. Yeah, you have fun. Oh! Ah! Hey, hey, back off. Come on. These are some of the most violent guards, but that actually works in my favor because while he talks to that guard about being overly violent, I'm going to make my way over to Stanley where I can go ahead and get that skeleton key. And I'm able to trade Stanley for his key. I use this key to then open the door to the sewer and I begin my escape. Attention all prisoners. There seems to have been a theft in the kitchen. One week's worth of rations for the person who fesses up the crime. The oh. tur turn in the person. You know what I mean. Okay, so they seem to have figured out that rations are missing, and they're likely on the lookout for who did it, meaning they could be on high alert. This could end bad. So let's just keep going through this sewer. There are a few problems with this plan that I realized pretty quickly while going through. Uh, I run out of food pretty fast and I find out my weapons are extremely weak. So I really have to start rushing my way through this sewer. However, when I finally get out of the sewer, this happens. They're on their way. Okay, let's go this way. Quick, we can get out of here. Where do oh you God, think the you're going? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Ryan, go. We gotta go. How do I do this? Wait, I gotta I have a taser with huh. your name on it. Yes, yes. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Where are you hiding? You might get away with this. Walking away. Open this door. Go, 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 go. Yes, 
yes. Okay, in this building, we're on the docks. Okay, we're on the docks. Oh my god, we're actually getting away with this. Oh my god, we can get out here, so we'll just open this door. Sure Ryan, ah! No! Ah! Yep, 10 more days in solitary in 60 days till my execution. What happened? Am I back in solitary? Are you kidding me? Oh, it seems you're awake. Hello, how you doing? Yes, I'm awake. You caught me again. Are you happy? Yes, I'm, I'm ecstatic, my friend. Yes, of course I'm happy. I cannot believe you even tried that. Ten more days. Here's your rations. Now I just gotta, I guess, wait till day 40. Day 40. So on day 40, I decided it's time to change my plan. I have tried three super elaborate escape attempts, and yet not a single one has worked. So my next plan, well, it had to work. While in the prison, I met a monkey man who actually sells a boatload of weapons. However, these weapons are really expensive, so I'm gonna have to steal a lot of bread to be able to buy them. So, that's what I do. After getting the bread, I purchase a ton of weapons from the monkey black market guy, and I begin my escape plan, which is pretty simple. It's time for a rampage. Shotgun! Good. Shotgun! We're going, we're getting out of this place. Okay, grenade launch at the front door. Not work. Okay, you're gone. Ryan! Come on, none of these guns are working anymore. I don't even know why. So obviously that didn't go as planned. Not only did my key break that allowed me to reload my guns, but I also ran in circles around the prison because I lost the boat. So in all, that was a complete Ooh. failure. Worse than my other three plans up to this point. And now I was in solitary till day 50, halfway to my death. When I was released from solitary, it was day 50, meaning in 50 days, I was a dead man. So time was literally of the essence. Ooh. I really needed to come up with a really concrete plan that could help me escape. Food time! You know how much money you've cost me? Well, I want bread still. Come on. The problem was that I was running out of items to trade that I hadn't already tried up at this point. I did, however, remember that there was a man in the showers who was willing to trade me a plane. If I could somehow get that plane, I might be able to fly out of the prison. Or that's what I was thinking anyway. Getting the plane was not gonna be easy. It required a ton of different items from the mechanic shop, like iron plates and a large engine. So I went there to try and get those items. Jump up here. Okay, good. We're almost, oh, that card sees me. Okay, he's gone. We gotta get to the mechanic's place quick. Then we go up here. Oh my God, there's panels in here. And you should trade, you, know, you want oak though. This is spruce. So I need to get an oak tree. Is there oak trees outside? Oh my God, there literally is. This couldn't work out better in my favor. Now that I had all the items to trade, I quickly ran back to the showers to get my plane. I traded for the plane and there was just one goal left. Get to the roof and escape. Okay, so if I use this medical bay, this should be enough to get on the roof. Okay, there's another locked door this way. What does this say? No exit. I don't believe it. That means there is an exit. I knew something seemed fishy. This is my way to the roof right here. This is the fastest way. So I can probably take this up. So if I just go boop, 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 I think this is gonna go up. Oh yeah, 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 look at this. We're on the roof. We're literally gonna be on the roof and we're on the roof. Oh my God, and it's perfect. We can just put the plane here. Here we go. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, here we go. Put the plane down. Here we go. Yes. Okay, we got a plane. Okay, it's facing the wrong way. So we'll just turn it around real quick. Oh, it needs fuel. It needs fuel. Okay, quick. We got to fuel it. So let's grab our fuel can. Brian! How do I fuel this thing? I got to hurry up. I know you're trying to get away. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to shoot you. You bring it on. Oh, he's actually shooting me. Okay, I need to figure out how to fuel this thing quick. Okay, so I know how to fuel it now. So all I have to do is put the fuel. Oh, it's empty. Okay, put the fuel right here. You back off. Brian, you got to give up, Brian. You, I'm going to... Yeah, you Turn take cover. Sense. I got infinite ammo. Okay, Turn okay. No, I, my sense is death. I'm not serving that. No way. I'm out of here. I'll catch you on the flip side, loser. Ryan. What? I'm going to hit you with the plane. Oh, get wrecked. Come on, please take off. Take off faster. Take off faster. Take off faster. Yes. Ryan. Please get over this. Please get over this. Yes. 
Oh my god, is this gonna work? You can't leave is this gonna work? Oh, I'm gone! I will see you later! I'm out of here! And that! I'm free! So with that, I was finally able to escape from Warden Unicorn's Island. He is gonna have to try way harder than that to keep me locked up. So, without further ado, if you want Warden Unicorn to build an even harder prison for me to escape from, let us know by smashing that like button and also smacking that subscribe button if you were entertained by today's video. Once again, everyone, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you all later.